If you clicked on this video right now, chances are this is your sign from the universe to stop wasting your summer holidays. When I was in school, I literally wasted every single summer holiday. I'd finish school and I'd be like, right, PlayStation now. Now I'm just going to go on the PlayStation. I'm not going to leave my house. I'm not going to get no sun. I'm not going to do no exercise, nothing. I'm just going to sit at home, play PlayStation, eat a load of crap and just do nothing. And it is literally the biggest mistake that you can make if you're in school still. If you really think about it, when you have your school holidays, this is the only time of the year where you can pretty much for an extended period of time not think about school at all and just do what you want basically because you have your little one week breaks here one week breaks there but you don't really have an extended period of time where you're off school where you can actually let your mind reign free and just do anything you can actually do anything you want if i could go back in time and redo it again with what i know now if i was 13 14 15 16 I would be finding these home workout videos on YouTube to do and building up my base level of strength. I don't think you understand how much progress you can make just doing push-ups, sit-ups, body weight squats, pull-ups with like one of those cheap pull-up bars. I don't think people realize how much progress you can make if you've never lifted weights before in your life. Like me now, if I do that, the, the progress, I'm probably not gonna make too much progress. I probably need some resistance, some weight. But if you're a teenager and you've never stepped foot in a gym before, doing these, <laughs> put it this way imagine how, how how would you feel right if you're that skinny guy in school you're known as that skinny guy because i was and over the summer holiday you get a little bit you know you gain a little bit of muscle from doing all these push-ups these sit-ups and all these things and you come back to school and people notice people are going to treat you differently they're going to treat you with a different kind of respect almost how about you start that side hustle that you wanted to try or you start that whole business you get in the gym you meditate you work on your mind you read, you research, you connect, you network, you get out there, you touch some grass. And to be honest, I think this next generation is even worse from when I was in school. I was in school not too long ago, but I think now it's even more video games, it's even more indoors. I've got two little brothers and since one of them's just finished his GCSE exams, if you're in the UK, you know what they are. And he'll just sit at home. He hasn't left the house since he's finished, since he finished his last exam, he hasn't left the house. Wakes up, wakes up late, wakes up 3, 4 p.m. Hops on his PC, plays it all day until what, 3, 4, 5, 6 a.m. I don't even know what time. I went to the toilet the other day and, <laughs> and all I hear is a click on the keyboard at 5 a.m. And it's not just him, it's most other kids. And I'm bringing this message to you now to make you aware of this. Like, bro, six weeks of focusing on something. Now, I'm not saying for you to just be, like, live and breathe working out for six weeks. I'm not saying live and breathe a side hustle. It's called a side hustle for a reason. It's something you do on the side. When you start school again, do you really, really think that you're going to do these things? Because when school starts again, oh, I've got to do my homework. I've got to do my exams. You've literally got free time. You've got so much free time. Another thing that I'd recommend for you to do is get outside. Get some sun. It's sunny now. If you're in the UK, we get sun maybe two, three months of the year. And the rest of the year is just crap. It's just rain. It's just cloud. So why don't you spend these few months? Coincidentally, you're off school and the sun's out. So why wouldn't you go outside? Go outside and play football. Go outside, do some push-ups. Near where most of you live, you probably have some sort of cal calisthenics park where you can do your pull-ups. You can do all of that stuff for free. You don't have to even buy anything. You can just go there. Go there with some of your friends and just do some pull-ups every day. Do some push-ups every day. Because what you're going to be doing is building a foundation for your future life. Because if I had started doing push-ups, if I started doing pull-ups, chin-ups, all of these things when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I'd be a lot bigger than I am now. I've made a lot of progress in the gym but that's only in the past couple of years. I think I'm actually gonna make a video soon on what I think now is the best way for young people, so people that are teenagers, to make a part-time income from their phones, working like an hour a day. It's so easy. I literally spoke to a 14 year old the other day, he's bringing in three to 9,000 pounds a month from running a couple of TikTok theme page accounts. It's crazy. I'm just gonna make this simple for you now, some actionable steps. I want you now, once you, once you finish this video, to make a plan. What two or three things am I going to try to accomplish by the end of this holiday? Maybe I want to be able to do 10 or 15 push-ups without fail. Maybe I want to have posted five videos on YouTube. Maybe 
I will have went outside, I don't know, 10 times, 15 times, 20 times over the, over the few weeks. In the UK, we have six weeks off. In America, I think you might even have even more. You might have two months off. It's a lot. It's a lot of time, man. Like some kids nowadays, they're going to just be inside just playing video games for six weeks. They're not going to leave their house. And it's horrible to even think that. Like what that does to you psychologically. I don't think people realise the long-term effects of doing that. Right now, I'm, I've been spending these last years undoing all of that, all of, this, all of these video game addictions that I've been going through in the past years in my life. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, it is fucking... Oh. Right, it is 30 degrees right now and I've just turned on my aircon. I had it off because I didn't want the like the sound of the aircon to affect the video, but I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna have to bear with it because she <laughs> Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not sweating. Look at me man. I ain't doing that to myself. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I want you to do something. Why can't you? What are you gonna get out of sitting at home for six weeks doing nothing? What are you gonna get out of that? Oh, you're gonna level up in a video game, okay. In a year's time, that video game is probably gonna be irrelevant anyway. When I was a teenager and I was in school, I would sit there and play FIFA for the whole entire holiday. I would sit there and play Call of Duty for the whole entire holiday, GTA. Oh, I went up a prestige in Call of Duty. Oh, I managed to get Mbappe on FIFA. Oh, I managed to buy this car on GTA. Is that what you want to say that you've accomplished by the end of this holiday? The one time of the year where you can focus on yourself and improve your life. There's going to be so many young people out there that's going to have started a side hustle. They're going to have started something and now they're making 500, 1,000 pound a month from their little side hustle that they figured out. Or they might have started their YouTube channel, but you didn't. You just sat there and just played video games. Great life, innit? You wonder why. You're a teenager and you wonder why you feel depressed. That's why. Because you spent... It's sunny outside, it's swelteringly hot and you're just playing video games. It's sad, isn't it? Like, how does that make you feel now? You feel at the end of the holidays you haven't done anything. You haven't taken advantage of your holiday. Of your break, of the one break you get a year. I don't want you to click off of this video and do nothing. I want what's best for you. And what's best for you is you do something with this time that you have. After watching this video, you're probably just gonna go back to your video game and just try and forget what I've said. That's your choice. You've got to live with that, not me. <laughs> You've got to live with it. There's gonna be a few of you that do take my advice and you do what I say. And you're gonna, you might come back to this and think, I actually, I actually done something with my holiday. I can actually see a little bit of definition on my muscles just from doing some push-ups and sit-ups and some pull-ups. Or I went and played a load of football this, this, this holiday. Nothing wrong with that, that's perfectly fine. You're out in the sun, you're running around exercising, socializing, doing something that no one seems to do these days. Live your life outside. This video game world is not the real world, you need to understand that. It's not real, it's fake. This world we live in now, they want you to play video games, they want you to stay inside, they don't want you to go outside, they don't want you to be strong. They don't want you to be strong physically or mentally or spiritually. They want you to be weak, they want you to be unsuccessful. They want you a slave to the system. If you want to set yourself up for when you are older, when you're 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, if you want to set yourself up for those years, get a head start. Just start. Just do something now with your holiday. Get creative. There's so many things that you can do. I just feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. Do something with your holiday. Just get up and do something. You will not regret it. You will feel better. You'll feel a better person. You'll feel better mentally. Get ahead of everyone else. Be that be that kid that exercises a shit ton in the school holiday and comes back jacked, comes back a little bit, you know, toned up and people notice. You'll probably be able to get that girl that you fancy in school. Anyway, bro, you owe it to yourself to prosper. It's the least you can do.